Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of FTL's Advanced Edition here on board the Federation Cruiser Type C, the Seventh Circle. We are playing with all kinds of mods included in this particular run, including one that I've constructed myself, which replaces the clone bay with a summoning circle. So instead of respawning, our crew are being summoned anew from beyond the abyss. Unfortunately, it has a couple side effects, like the fact that it replaces every single clone bay on every ship, which means that most of them look pretty weird, but it works really well for this one, in my opinion. Anyhow, let's keep moving. We have 74 scrap to spend. We have a just beacon right ahead of us. We're in the Mantis Homeworld, so the potential chance of maybe getting the Mantis Homeworlds event. We do have a clone bay instead of a med bay, though, so I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work. But we'll see. We have got ourselves enough money to buy ourselves some upgrades, though, so we are going to do just that. We're going to buy ourselves another engine upgrade, because having that is always good. Five engines are great. We could send the imp over to the weapons instead, since we now have a heavy laser we could be firing. But I don't really want to be relying on a heavy laser if we can help it. I wouldn't mind a weapon that would allow us to knock out their medbay remotely, but as it stands, this should be okay. However, as we arrive at this next beacon, they say, Aha! I knew someone would fall into our dastardly trap! It appears this Tercess Beacon was nothing but a decoy for a pirate ambush, and no small pirate ambush at that. That is pretty nasty right there. Alright, well, we're going to have to get in there quickly, so... Turn off the artillery, turn on the mind control. We're going to immediately mind control that and teleport into here. We want that Mantis to destroy the weapons quickly so that they lose the ability to use their breach missile, which is why we're immediately going for the mind control on him. If we get lucky, the breach missile will go down first, but I don't think it will. I think they're going to lose this burst laser first which really makes no difference at all to us, unfortunately. Yes. Well, you can't win them all, I suppose. Now the Mantis is going to come over here to try and deal with us. We're going to probably lose both of our Mantis in fighting him, but we can send our human crew over there in replacement. We're going to have to tank at least one missile, so hopefully their aim is not very good. He should come down here to deal with this. We are going to definitely take some damage here, though. Please miss! Yes! Oh! <laughs> Fantastic! Our humans should be able to take this guy down before they can fire another one of those missiles at us. And that worked pretty much as perfectly as it could possibly have gone. Ooh! We find a weapon system on their ship. With no crew to stop us, we can install it on our own. 13 scrap and a chain ion. Yes, please. Alright, let's teleport our crew back. That worked amazingly well. Could not have asked for much better than that. Let us resummon Hellion and Succubus. They'll be fine, honest. Alright. That is pretty cool. The Chain Ion is not an amazing weapon because of the fact that it takes a couple charges to get up to decent power. But once it does get up to firing every every shot doing four ion damage, that's pretty powerful. I believe it is strong enough and fast enough that it can chain together so it can keep something seriously locked down because it only takes about 14 seconds to charge fully. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's actually less time than the anti-bio beam. So if we can get these working together, that would be a pretty awesome combination. We will need a lot of weapon upgrades to be able to do that eventually, though, so we'll have to wait and see whether or not that's going to work out. Either way, though, we'll leave it as it is for now. I will send the imp over to the weapons once we actually have them to a point where we want to use them. But for now, I might as well give ourselves one ion-proof shield bubble rather than nothing. So let's keep jumping around and see what else we can uncover in this sector. We're probably going to go around this way for the next part because I like the look of that bottom area. So far, though, we're off to a pretty great start. What do we find here? A ship with man blah, blah, blah. a mantis ship with the markings of a warrior tribe breaks position and attacks. Are they gonna board us with one crew? <sighs> What's with all the crews? <laughs> all these crews having missiles? All right, we're gonna mind control the mantis, and we're gonna teleport into the weapons. We will also need to teleport into the. Uh... Oh, come on now, get out of here, NG. We need to break this breach missile before they fire it at us. But yeah, we need to break this clone bay as well, but I really don't want to take a missile to the face. We need to destroy this thing as quickly as we can. We're probably not going to get as lucky as we did previously. No, they're really, really throwing themselves at us here to stop us from breaking this system. So this is going to take at least one missile. Hopefully we get lucky and dodge it again. No, not this time. Ooh, nasty hit. Four damage and a fire in our... There we go. In our artillery beams. We're going to have to send some crew to go deal with that. Although I might just try and vent it and see how well that goes. I'm not entirely sure about this, but we're going to give it a try. Alright, break the system. We have crew standing in here. There we go. With their crew dead, we're able to take the fuel out of storage. We also take all the scrap we can manage, getting 5 fuel and 28 scrap. There we go. You guys did a good job there. Time to go back home again. Nobody needs to be airlocked to this day, I don't think. 
Whew. All right, close all the doors, turn the O2 back online, and let's go fix that artillery. I should open internal doors to speed that up a bit. There we go. And everyone can do, do, go do some repairing. I might want to airlock Succubus. Hellion's almost max skill. That's pretty cool. We are going to airlock Succubus. I think he could use a little bit of a breather, and then he'll be back again to join our forces. All right, Succubus. You can rejoin us in a moment. Fantastic. All right, so once he respawns, we'll be good to go. With 50 scrap left to spend, uh, we can buy a whole bunch of different upgrades. We might want to go for weapon control, because then the next two upgrades are actually cheaper than this one. And then we can hopefully get ourselves up to having the chain eye on an anti-bio beam online, because that would be fun stuff. Combining that with a suicide boarding strategy could be pretty cool. Let's get our crew over there and get ready to move on. I guess we'll hold on to our money for a little bit longer, and we'll see what else we can do with it. I might want to buy three levels of shields as well. That's always a nice upgrade to have. Let's go, though. You notice the pure flurry of laser fire by the port window. The Mantis are upon us. All right, well, they're going to try and board us, but I really don't want them to board us. They have a clone bay again, so what we're going to do is we're just going to mind control them again before they can do anything else. Mind control that guy. We're going to teleport into your clone bay and start wrecking that while you guys are fighting. No, he wants to come fight us in the clone bay. That's fine. They don't actually look like they have that much of a dangerous arsenal. They have a bomb of some kind. Probably a breach bomb given how much firepower they have potential for in their weapons but I don't know exactly, we'll have to wait and see I suppose let's see if we can't kill this mantis quickly enough to deal with all of these shenanigans it's an ion bomb, okay well it missed us which is great and let's take this out, there goes the NG back again oh this is gonna be annoying if they keep respawning one after the other can we destroy this system in the interval? we should be pretty close there we go. We find a weapon system on their ship with no crew to stop us. We can install it on our own, getting 13 scrap at a flat gun mark 1. Very nice. I'll take it. We actually have a max level fighter too, Hellion. Unfortunately, we're going to send him back to the abyss he came from and uh, summon a new Hellion to join us. But for now, that'll do. Congratulations, you are very close to being maximum weapon skill. Succubus, you're getting pretty close as well, surprisingly enough. Spirit and Incubus, you're not doing too badly. All right, we definitely need to start powering up our weapons, though. We have the potential for some really cool stuff here later on. All right, with 63 scrap on hand, we're definitely probably going to start putting power into the weapons shortly. But we are going to keep jumping onwards for now. We need to find a store, hopefully, so we can actually take advantage of this. Get some repairs done and such. At this point, we almost expect a fight with the Mantis, but this beacon appears to be entirely devoid of other ships. We take the time to catch our breath and double-check the ship's systems. All right, well, there's a just distress beacon over here. Let's go see what they want. We find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. We hail them, asking what's wrong, and they say they're being overrun by giant alien spiders. Thankfully for them, we have a bio-beam, which we can use to pick off these spiders individually. We instruct them to drop their shields, and we're able to kill the creatures without damaging the station. The monsters just started bursting into flames as we watched. What a terrifying weapon. Here, take this for your help, friend. Eight missiles, a drone part, and 13 scrap. That's a pretty junky reward, actually, but we'll take it. Another distress beacon over here. Okay, let's do some more distress beacon hopping, I guess. Take advantage of whatever we can find here. We find the source of the distress call, which happens to be a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy them. Their fire suppression system isn't responding, so let's send our crew in a shuttle to help put out the fire. Our crew valiantly keeps the fire at bay long enough to allow some of the scientists to escape, but it appears to be a losing battle. Before long, we order the retreat, and a few scientists they were able to save are distraught but grateful. We'll drop them off at the next station, but we do gather 31 scrap for now. That's a nice reward right there. That lets us get our level 3 shields if we want them, and we probably want them. There's a store over there, but if we go there, we probably can't get back to the exit, so that's not a very good option for us. We're probably just going to buy the shields right now, because that'll make us much tougher, and then we can go to boosting up our firepower after that. Being, being harder to kill is always nice. Any enemies that you can be completely immune to are good enemies. The Mantis ship is pleased to see us and fires, its, fires up its weapons systems. Well, that's not good. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to get them to fight each other. Go for the mind control. Teleport into the weapons. We need to try and destroy this thing quickly. Unfortunately, we mind controlled the NG instead of the Mantis, which is going to slow this whole affair down a little bit. Might have actually been better for us to just rush the crew instead of going for that uh, split them up strategy. But we might be able to do enough damage to stop them from firing it. Doesn't look like it, though. Nope, there it goes. Please miss. Nope. Right in the shields. Ouch. That's some nasty damage. Get these guys out of there. We're going to burn their system out. Or rather, vent it out so it doesn't burn. Now the ship is empty of hostiles. We search it, finding a prisoner who offers to join our crew, giving us 11 scrap and grozzly. 
The human, unfortunately, grossly, you are about to get sacrificed. Goodbye. We're not interested in having you on board our lovely ship. But we will be quite happy to sacrifice you. There we go. Teleport our crew back home again. Our Both of our Zoltan are in trouble, but they should be fine. I don't think we're going to need to sacrifice them today. They'll be able to recover, I suspect. We did take a pretty nasty hit there, though, which is unfortunate. We really don't want to be taking damage like that if we can help it. Let's send our humans in there to help speed this process up a little bit. And we are going to go... Uh, sacrifice Hellion once more. Which is too bad, because he's pretty close to maximum fighting skill, but... We can't afford to have him low on health right now. So, we'll send our people back to their stations. There we go. And we should be good to go on again shortly. With only 18 scrap, we don't have much we can actually spend, but hopefully we'll be okay again in a second. Alright, there we go. Crew back to stations. Fantastic. Let's keep jumping. We should have enough time for these two more jumps after this one. The only thing this beacon offers is a view of deep space and a brief res respite from battles. For some, this must be a welcome refuge. Not for us, though, unfortunately. So we have enough time for, I think, one more jump, and then we're going to be out of space. So we're going to jump over here, then hit the exit, and then see what happens. We spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat, and does not seem to want to engage us or our ship. We're going to demand the surrender of their goods, however, and move in. We prefer to secure their cargo by force, and they are, of course, trying to run away. We can't let that happen now, can we? So, we're going to have to board them. So, we're going to do just that. We're also going to power up our shields, because we need some more shield power against all those lasers. We're going to jump straight into the helm. And we're going to mind control someone for the fun of it. There we go. You can destroy their engines, maybe, so they can't get away very easily. It's going to take us a little while to get rid of these guys, but it shouldn't be anywhere near too long before they can't actually run anymore. And as soon as we can leave the helm, they won't be able to defend against us. There we go. They have no chance of survival. Make your time. This is the last human on board, and he has no chance against these demons, which we have brought to bear against him. The ship refuses to fight, but we still detect life signatures. Apparently this is a prisoner transport, and a single survivor offers to join our crew in exchange for their freedom. 28 Scrap and Schultze the Mantis. Well, Schultze, you have chosen the incorrect ship to board. I think we're going to get rid of one of Incubus and Spirit, though, because it'd be good to have some more firepower to, uh, to throw into new boarding strategies. So more Mantis is always good. So we're going to sacrifice Schultze to empower our new Spirit. Goodbye, Spirit. You will be gone. And Schultze, you are going to take up the mantle of the Spirit. There we go. Fantastic. Now we have even more firepower to bring to bear against our enemies. Teleport back on board there, a mantis, and uh, we're looking pretty solid now. Alright, I should probably sacrifice these guys, though, because they are kind of low on health. Um, yeah. I'm not super keen on it. We'll sacrifice Succubus, and we'll leave Hellion for now. He should be okay. He'll heal up to, like, just under two... Th I don't know. I don't know. We'll resummon him with all possible speed there, and we'll see what we find in the next beacon. If we needed to heal him, then it'll be a bit too late, but whatever. We do need to start spending some money powering up our engine, or rather our, our reactor, and we also need to spend some power powering up our weapons quite badly. But for now, we'll make do with what we've got. So, jumping to the exit beacon, what do we find over here? Hopefully some good stuff. We arrive at the Long Range Beacon where we discover... Oh. A trader has set up a shop at this beacon and presents his offer. Three missiles for three drone parts. We don't need either of those, so sure, why not? Why not? Balances out our supplies a little bit. Let's get out of here. We have only one option, Zoltan Controlled Sector. That's actually not so bad because of our Zoltan Shield Bypass. Let's go see what they have in store for us. Unfortunately, we didn't find the Mantis Homeworlds event there, so I didn't get a chance to test our level 2 Clone Bay instead of level 2 Med Bay, but whatever. The Zoltan Patrol their borders will let us pass from the Ideas Federation. Let's hope they won't, so let's hope they won't be so courteous to the Rebels. Alrighty. So we actually healed up pretty well there. I think Hellion will be fine. Let's jump over in this direction and work our way up towards the top. What do we find here? As we arrive in the system, we're hailed by a Loyalist settlement. Upon learning of our quest, they offer us supplies, giving us one fuel, two missiles, and 27 scrap. Thank you very kindly there, gentlemen. We're going to grab ourselves... 50 scrap worth of power, probably. I don't really want to do it, but... We'll do it like this for now. That gets us up to two power bars, and we actually have more power to burn if we need to. We can put it in the shields, we can do whatever with it. 
All right, let's keep looking. Let's just begin. What do you guys have in store for us here? Our cockpit lights up with warning signals. We're being targeted by a nearby ship. The distress call was a lure to attract unwitting ships into weapons range, and we prepare for a fight. Unfortunately for them, they are about to get absolutely ravaged. They have no idea. Let's get in there and smack them about. They've got a Zoltan who's going to die very quickly, and an NG who's also going to die very quickly. They are going to be able to take a shot at us with that Lido missile, and probably with the first laser Mark II as well. Yep. They missed us with a missile, though, which is a good first step. And there we go. We found a Pegasus missile on their ship and got 18 scrap. We're picking up so much loot here. All right, guys, come back on board. Oh, they hit us, you jerks. All right, well, let's go repair this damage briefly, and we're probably going to have Hellion and Succubus resummoned. At least Hellion needs to be resummoned. Succubus can probably be okay. All right. And back to stations there. Folks, fantastic. Okay, so that went actually pretty well. We're getting a lot of cool stuff. I'll probably use the Pegasus instead of the heavy lasers if we can actually get that to run. We'll see, though. We'll see how it turns out. Because right now, we can use all of this stuff together. We can't use the Pegasus as well as the Chain Ion and the Anti-Bio Beam and the Flak or the Heavy Laser, but we'll see how it works out. I'm not entirely sure how we want to organize this all yet. We have two stores in front of us, though, which is really good because we have a whole bunch of things to sell and we need to buy some repairs. So we've got... A lot of loot here. Not a lot of scrap, though. Can we do one more jump before we go to the store? I think so. We're gonna jump over here, then go check out a store. We also need to buy fuel. There's a lot of things we need right now. Despite their precautions, pirates have begun to harass the local Zoltan settlements across this sector. One such pirate spots our ship and moves into attack. They've got uh, some pretty nasty weaponry, surprisingly enough. We're gonna get in there and start beating them up, though. And we can mind control them and whatnot through their defenses, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let's just do that, just for the heck of it, and murder this poor soul. He might be able to get out of here alive, but we do have backups incoming. Can he make it out? He can, in fact, make it out. So we're gonna... Oh, we're stuck in here, though. We should really try and get into that shield room, because otherwise it's gonna be a lot harder for us to join forces with our other crew. Hopefully their aim isn't very good, and neither is their timing, so that that halberd beam is less effective. We are gonna try and break the door system, though, so we can easily get out into the shield room, although if they're gonna be boarding us like this, it's gonna make it a lot harder. Alright, guys, let's teleport into the shields. That should get the Rockman over there to come help. Now we can destroy the rest of the system. There we go, now we can get into here and help them out. We probably should go into the medbay directly, since they're directly beside it. The Rockman might not actually be fast enough to protect himself, though. I wonder what happens if you destroy the shields and leave the Zoltan shield up. I don't know. Or if we mind control them in the med bay while they're uh, low on health, that probably would be good enough to kill them. We'll see, though. They should come back and fight us in a second, and we can hopefully beat them up some more. We get a lot more combat experience this way, which is also nice, and the people who are taking the most damage right now are not... Ooh, did we get them? Not quite, I don't think. So we're going to quickly hop in here. Mind control somebody, hop back out. you will kill your crew for us. Very kind of you. Thank you. All right, time to murder a rock man. Can we kill him with the combined forces of three mantis and a human before we can get into that med bay again? No, yes, we can. Fantastic. There are no more useful signs, no more life signs, rather, remaining on the ship. We shifted useful materials, getting a fuel missile and 22 scrap, and we teleport back out again. All right, we'll take it. Crew back to positions, please. You need a position saved. There we go. That'll do it. Welcome back, spirit. We are going to jump into the store here, sell them a bunch of junk, and see what we can acquire. A human ship hails. My friends, please. There's nothing I don't have, and there's nothing worth wanting that I can't get. Why not take a look around my shop? Oh, we will. You have a burst laser mark two, you have stealth weapons, battery charger, reverse ion field, you have a med bay, which we're not getting. We're going for full clone bay this time. We're definitely not playing for the med bay. Um, the burst laser mark two is such, such an easy thing to go for. Stealth weapons don't help us, battery charger doesn't currently help us, reverse ion field is nice but not amazing. What we're probably going to do is we're just going to buy some fuel and repairs here, and we'll use the money to actually upgrade our ship instead. So I could keep the Pegasus missile. Pegasus missiles are pretty fun out of all of the missile potential. The flak goes well with our anti-bio beam chain ion strategy. I don't know. I don't think we're going to keep the Pegasus. Honestly, I don't want to, though. It's something I never use. <laughs> Let's sell the heavy laser and the flak. That's expensive. Holy cow, that's a lot of scrap we can get from that. And we'll keep the Pegasus for later. The flat gun is pretty fun, but I think we're going to sell these two, keep these things, and we'll use this money to upgrade ourselves. Is it the most strategically sound strategy? Probably not. 
but sometimes, especially with a ship like this, you just need to do things for the fun of it sometimes. So, powering up the weapon system. Cool beans. And one more time. There we go. Now we actually have four power. We can use our chain ion. One more, and we can chain ion anti-bio beam, which is something we've been waiting on for a while. We need to buy some power first, though, otherwise we're not going to be able to run all these things. Let's jump into this nebula, try and make some money in the back end of this sector. And we jump into an ion storm. Oh, boy. We spy two pirate ships lurking in the nebula here. They remain unaware of our presence and are able to get our scanners to at least identify their cargo. One is carrying the fuel supplies and the other the ammunition. They begin to drift away from each other in the storm. We go to secure the fuel supply. We jet towards the pirate with the fuels and engage. Hopefully we leave the ship in one piece. So, they've got a fire beam, burst laser, and a bomb. It doesn't matter to us at all, because we're going to teleport over there and murder them. They cannot bypass our shields, but we can easily bypass theirs. And we're going to mind control them as well. We can take down a bar of our shields, I believe. I think we should be pretty much safe in doing so. Powering up the mind control and the O2 in doing so. We're going to mind control one of those guys. Hopefully the Mantis. That would be lovely. Oh, they resisted it. What? What's this? They didn't resist it. What just happened? What was that? What just happened there? I don't know. I think that was the, uh, the Zoltan Shield complaining that we had just bypassed it. I'm not sure, though, honestly. Oh, boy. Maybe taking down those bars of shields was a bad idea. Small bomb coming in. Hitting the weapons. That's fine. All right, these shields are going down, which doesn't really matter at all. This mantis should also go down because there's nobody, there's no room in the med bay for him. There we go. We're teleporting more crew into here. Power up our offense, our offense, our offensive power. As long as they can't get anything through us, we're okay. Oxygen's at full. Boost up the evasion for now. We lost their slug, which is ideal. Their small bomb missed again, and oh, he almost died. Almost died. Let's send two mantis in there to go deal with him. We should be able to outheal them. Actually, I'm not going to rush it. We're going to sit here and wait. We should be fine. The next time he comes in, we should be able to take him out because we'll have the mind control ready so we can disable him while we go in and take out their med bay if we need to. Oh, they're bringing more weapons online by destroying their shields. That's not so cool. All right, guys, go destroy the weapons. Shields are out completely. Small bomb misses again, which is lovely. He comes back in here. We're going to actually destroy the med bay instead. That's a much smarter move. Some of our Mantis are taking some pretty bad hits, though. Hellion is hurting. Are they going to lose their med bay? Hopefully they lose it enough we can kill them. And there we go. With the ship in one piece, we're able to salvage most of the fuel supplies before the Ion Storm clears, and we have to jump away, getting six fuel and 37 more scrap. Fantastic. So, let's teleport our crew out of there. Teleport our crew out of there. There we go. We paused there for some reason. And power up the O2, power up some whatevers, and we're going to have to go fix some damage now, but we're looking pretty good. So, Hellion, I actually need to kill you, and Succubus, you also need to die. You'll be back again in no time, but you still need to die. Goodbye. And we'll send these guys to go fix up the damage to our weapons. Alright, with 49 scrap, we can't quite afford two more power bars, which is unfortunate, because we, we could really use some more, but whatever. There we go. Welcome back, Hellion. Take over your position once more. And Succubus, you'll be following up as well. Excellent. This is actually the first time I've really tried suicide boarding, and it's actually much better than I expected, which is surprising. Although I suppose I shouldn't be that surprised by it, because a lot of people have been telling me it's much better than I expected. So, we have a little bit of power left to buy, money left to buy power with, rather. Um, we also need to buy one more level of weapons control anyway, but I think we're probably going to buy power first. For now, though, we're just going to jump out of here and see what else we can uncover in this sector before we run out of space completely. We've jumped into an asteroid field. Lovely. Where Jump interrupts a Zoltan security ship as it falls a Mentis pirate into an asteroid field. They message us, saying, Your presence here will continue to be tolerated, but please don't interfere. Well, we're going to interfere and save the Mantis. Sometimes you have to bet in the underdog, even on the rare occasions of the underdog is a Mantis warship. We set off for the heart of the asteroid field and engage the Zoltan there. Unfortunately for them, we can board them. So, we're going to power up our defenses uh, to maximum firepower. We're going to teleport into their helm, I guess. Hello! And we don't even need to mind control them. We're just going to murder them. They do not really have the power they need to defend themselves against us. They'd probably be able to fire the Artemis missile once. Hopefully they're... Oh, they have a med bay still. Butts. All right, we're going to mind control him. They're going to fight each other in the med bay, which means one of them's going to die because he's not receiving healing. Ooh! Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Let's go fix that damage. He is still healing, surprisingly enough. I thought he wouldn't in there. There we go. He explodes. 
Alright, so we're gonna have to move out of this section of the ship. We're gonna move down here to the engines, maybe? I'd love to board them some more, but we're having a hard time dodging these missiles. Holy cow. I want to attack the weapons as well, but I need to have the clone bay at least working. Okay, clone bay is online, which is the important thing. Get our crew in here. We're going to teleport them over into the shields now, so that when the Zoltan runs, he takes more damage from us on the way past. More damage. Holy cow, that missile is perfect. The Mantis are so grateful, they only take three quarters of the loot, leaving the rest for us. How civilized. One fuel, two missiles, 25 scrap. But yeah, they hit us with all three of those missiles. That's not cool. Not cool, man. Not cool. Alright. We should be fine here. They can't hurt us anymore. But that was annoying. We took so much damage there for no reason. Alright. Once this is no longer ionized, since we're stuck in the asteroid field, it doesn't instantly repair, so you can't actually lose your crew that way, which would suck. We'll be able to finish up our repairs here. Hellion and Succubus, I think I'm going to leave you as you are. You don't need to go res resupply just yet. There we go. Everything's repaired. Fantastic. Let's get out of here, though. That was not exactly what we wanted. We took way too much damage in that battle. So, we have a good number of jumps left. We're going to jump over here. One, two, three, potentially more than that. Can we go? We have one, two-ish, three-ish into the nebula, perhaps? We have How much space do we have left? It's hard to tell sometimes, because it's often... The, the distance makes it quite difficult, but if we're if we're sort of doing the visual judgment here, if it takes us, let's do like a quick. If it takes us about this far. The next one would take us about that far. Third would be about here. Four would actually be about here. Okay, we have we have we have a good amount of space on us still. Three yeah, three jumps would take us to about here, so we can jump into the nebula I think safely, and then that'll reduce the distance enough that we can get to the exit. So let's try that. It might be a bad idea, but we're gonna try it anyway. We'll see what happens. We arrive at a Zoltan research facility where they say they're researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. We agree to participate in their study and afterwards they give us 13 scrap and some cookies. Thank you. Appreciate the cookies. Alright, we're going to power up our weapons one more time, just for the heck of it. And now we need to start buying power really badly, because we don't have any. So, let's keep jumping. Probably should not be wasting all my money on my weapon system like this, but honestly it doesn't seem to matter that much. We do need to buy some more hull soon, but we'll see what happens. We jump just in time to witness the Zoltan ship's FTL drive overload. In their final moments, they implore us not to get involved, but it's too late. Their attacker is already upon us. That's a lot of lasers they got over there. We're going to board in over on this side. We're probably going to get their Mantis to try and sabotage their systems or something. By making things a little bit easier for us, because we have a bit of a problem with low health here. We're going to have even more low health when that Zoltan explodes. But we'll see. Hopefully their Ion is really inaccurate, and then we should be fine. And I'm honestly not too worried about having our crew die either. No, we're good. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship, so we get two missiles, a drone part, and 38 scrap. Easy as pie. All right, teleport back on board there, gentlemen. And you're both going to get uh, resummoned. Hellion and Succubus. We shall see you again shortly. For now, though, two more power bars. Beyond the rift with you. All right. So, we can now power up the anti-bio beam. If we can get the chain ion and the anti-bio beam, we'll actually be able to help our boarders here if we need to by vaporizing people hiding in the medbay. For now, though, we'll just have to wait and see. Welcome back, Hellion. You guys are so close to being maximum fighting skill all the time, but you can't quite stay there, can you? Not with the situation you're in. Let's jump over here, then jump over that nebula and get out safely. Hopefully it'll work out like I planned. I don't know yet exactly, though. We pick up the last broadcast from a rupturing Zoltan fighter. The Mantis, they're here, please! We're interrupted by fire off the port bow. Well, they're gonna come board us, so we're gonna have to stop that. There's a mind control them there, there we go. Teleport to the shields to help fight. There we go, this should give us a pretty solid advantage against them here. They will start cloning again, but we're gonna have to go break that pretty quick too. We're gonna need to send our second wave of fighters in, otherwise it's not gonna be reasonable for us to do this. There we go, we've knocked out all of them but one. We're gonna go now go straight for the clone bay. Hopefully he'll stay summoned now. Not mind controlled for any longer. Two stun bombs. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, that's unfortunate for us. Oh. That is unfortunate indeed for us being able to knock them out safely. Because now they're going to start respawning too fast and I can't send the extra people in to distract the people to come out of the clone bay. Okay. We're going to have to do our best here. That stun effect is really long. Come on! I couldn't get out of there quite fast enough. 
Alright, well, that didn't go so well for us. Here come some more stun bombs. Double miss, that's what we like to see. They've boarded us now. Okay, well, we can deal with that better than they can deal with us. We're gonna kill them over here. Unfortunately, though, we are gonna have to teleport into their clone bay again, so we're gonna do that now. And when they get a crew in here, we're gonna immediately mind control the first one we see. Oh, no, not that, not that one. That one has no health left. Neither of them have any health left. Okay, never mind. We're gonna let them die, because now we should be able to take out the clone bay pretty easily, because their entire crew is dead. So this is actually ideal. Surprisingly enough. Alright, crew back to positions. We have a stunned captain. That's actually pretty nasty. Holy cow. Stunning the captain takes them off the helm, so you have no evasion while it's happened. That's pretty cool. Either way, we find a weapon system on their ship with no crew to stop us. We can install it on our own, getting 16 scrap and a breach bomb mark two. That is a nice weapon to have for taking out clone base. I might want to be using that. We're going to teleport our crew back over here, send people back to their various systems. People should be okay as it is. We're definitely going to be needing a crew over here, though. So, Imp, you're taking over weapons now. Breach Bomb might be our weapon of choice at the moment. Breach Bomb, Anti-Bio Beam, Chain Ion is a pretty nasty combo for wiping out crews. A pretty nasty combo indeed. What do you mean, not enough power? We have Power Bar in there, and there's one right here. Oh, it's because the Chain Ion's powered. Right. There we go. That would explain it. So, let's get into this nebula. Perfect. We didn't overrun ourselves. Uh, we're looking pretty good. Uh, what do we have over here? As we wait for the FTL drive to charge, we have expect to be ambushed at any moment, but no attack comes. All right, then. Let's hit this exit and get out of Dodge. We've arrived at the Long Range Beacon, and when the FTL drive is charged, we can jump to the next sector. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Let's explore that asteroid field and take the risk. We might take damage here, but we'll do it anyway. Ow! Five hull damage. That was not good. We're down to four hull. The asteroid field proved more dangerous than expected, and some asteroids managed to get through our ship's defenses. Ow! And set our systems on fire, too. All right, well, we're going to have to go deal with that. Let's get our crew over there quickly so we don't lose the weapon system and take even more damage from this thing. Put out those fires, gents. Probably putting our combat mantis in there wasn't the best idea, but whatever. They'll be fine. We have a pair of safe jumps coming up, so they're all going to heal a whole bunch in a second anyway. That's bad luck, though, which is too bad. Hopefully we can get some repairs pretty early on in the next sector, otherwise we might be in a bit of trouble. Also, I need to make sure you keep that as your new position. There we go. Breach bomb online. The breach bomb mark II is quite powerful. That high breach chance, 45 crew damage and system damage, means you can really knock out med bays with this thing. It kills whoever's in it, breaches it, so they suffocate, and knocks the whole thing offline, no matter how strong it is, which is amazing. So, we finished fixing our doors as well. I guess I should get Incubus to help with this. There we go. That's more like it. And we're looking pretty good now, so let's get out of here. Next sector, here we come. Engine controlled or engine controlled? That's a tough decision. We're going to go for this one, though, because it gives us two options afterwards. Even though one's a nebula, so we probably won't pick it. We'll find out when we get there. Jumping on ahead, what do we see? We've arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but we should be able to stock up for our journey. However, we're going to have to end this episode here for now. Thank you all very much for watching. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some more FTL's Advanced Edition here on board the Federation Cruiser Type C, the Seventh Circle. If you've enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to let me know what you thought about it so far in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, bye bye